like I'm not going to be God and that's going to be up to God. So, you know, he's the only one I fear. I don't fear none of them. It's man, what can they do to me? But either way, it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I don't know all the characters that are involved and in the background. I don't know like how it's going to go about as far as like, oh, you know, they're already developing technologies to do with um, that look like flying saucers, aliens, things like that. Maybe it could be they could be like these beings could be these beings as well i mean when i look at their music videos and things they do all connect themselves to snakes and things like that you know so uh they could be some sort of reptilian beings aliens it could be just de demonic spirits a lot of them admit to selling their soul that demonic spirits possess them to do these things and say these things so i mean a lot of the times you're worshiping false idols and you think you you know it's like you're not actually worshiping God because you're worshiping false idols. Like these are, you're actually worshiping Satan when you're worshiping like Eminem and, uh, you know, Nicki Minaj and, uh, all these artists like that are, they admit that they have demons, Beyonce, Jay-Z, like they're involved in like the weirdest, um, bizarre rituals, like spirit cooking and all, you know, like human sacrifices and witchcraft and, they all promote violence and adultery and all these weird things that are just like, it's not of God. It's clearly not of God. Like, if you're of the Holy Spirit, you're not taking the Lord's name in vain. You're not teaching others to break commandments. Uh, you know, that's how it is. So, you're just acting in love and you're trying to help raise other people's consciousness to the Christ consciousness of love others as yourself. Which... I mean, that's what I feel like I'm chosen for and chosen to do. I feel like God cho has chosen me to speak to all you people. And I mean, I don't have any, I don't have any malicious feelings towards any of you. I, you know, I'm, I forgive everyone that's ever wronged me. And I, I ask for forgiveness for anyone that I've ever wronged. You know, I've gotten into fights. Usually it was defending my family members, like I got into a fight defending my brother, you know, bullying things like that you know but it was still my fault like I was still it was back in the day when I was drinking you know like when that's another thing drinking look at L, like on the liquor on LCBOs and things like that like it says spirits right on there like you're putting spirits into your body and then people are shocked that they what black out which is basically like possession they get violent they get promiscuous very sexual you know like it's not a coincidence like that you're black that's like literally you're putting spirits in your body you're changing your spirit so it's like this is the holy temple of god like our bodies are the temp our temples you know like we're they're meant to be clean and full of love and the holy spirit so it's like when we do these things we're separating ourselves from god and that's what these beings are trying their hardest to do that's what Satan and demons goal is is to separate us from our creator so that you know so that they can dwell in us and use our vessels instead of God. So that's why they're always trying to get you to do drugs, to weaken your vessel, to weaken your state of mind, to get you on even like some medications. They're trying like with when I went to the hospital to try to report some of these things to them where I'm like, OK, well, you know, I'm trying to be as clear headed as possible here because there's weird things going on in my life, you know, like there's definitely some devils and some angel stuff going on and God and devils and stuff. And I mean, they were like, they're quick to check you off as crazy or be like, oh, here's a pill. Like, this is going to fix it. It's like, then you listen to what I'm saying. Like, I'm trying to keep my body as clean as possible so that I'm strong minded and so I can be strong and make strong decisions, not weak. And they try to force you onto things. And it's like, just because why they fear what you're saying or they don't understand, you know? So I feel like a lot of the times that's what it is too. Like they're drug dealers. It's all business. They care more about money than people. So, like, I don't know, I try to care more about people than money, you know? Like, I don't care about money. I don't, I care about the truth, I care about God, I care about Jesus, and I care about you people knowing the truth, and I don't want anyone to go to hell. Like, I don't want anyone, it's not, it's going to be, like, it says God is the judge, but when it comes down to it, it's our choices that send us to hell. We choose that. It's our choices that are going to be the judge of us. It, that the Bible says that along with God, because God has is in us and He's witnessed it all. So He's going to use. It's going to be our own choices that basically convict us, and a lot of us are going to 
There's only two places you can go once your spirit's released from your vessel. It's going to be the place of love and God, and which means you have to have a personal relationship with God and Christ and Jesus to, to be accepted in their home, or else you're going to go to an, the other place, which is hell, you know, and which is all full of hurt. So there's those are your choices. You can choose to hurt or you can choose to love. And I choose to love. I do my best not to hurt and I repent when I do. You know, like, but yeah, anyway, that's, try to squeeze as much as much testimony in as possible. Anyone, you know, I wish I could talk to everyone about, you know, answer all your questions and things, you know, but I'm only one person. I do my best to, to speak to y'all and like help you comprehend and understand things, you know, don't be afraid of uh, you know, of the devil and of, you know, all those things. This is supposed to be good news that this is real. It's just, you know, it says resist the devil and he will flee from you. So, I mean, put on the full armor of God. Be strong in God. Put on the armor of Christ because, you know, you need it. Because, you know, like, you're leaving yourself vulnerable to attack. And, and you know, these, these spirits are after you like a hungry lion, it says. So, like, they're trying hard <laughs> to separate you from God. They're trying to use you. They're trying to destroy you, basically. So, like, you know, that's the best way that, you know, Jesus put it the best way when he said, like, when he's talking about the flock, you know. He's the shepherd. We're the flock. And it's like... The more, you know, there's only so much you can do for a, a rogue sheep that's just going off by himself all the time towards the wolves. That's just like, you know, oh, I'm just going to go here. And then he goes and he'll, he'll leave and he'll come and bring you back. But then if you just keep straying and keep going off, it's like, what can you do for an animal like that? Sometimes he'll tie it to another animal, you know, so that that animal can help keep it on the right path. But then it's putting that animal at risk too, you know, which is like husband, wife stuff. It's It's like... You know, it takes, you know, you don't want to be putting other things at risk. And then every single time that you stray and the shepherd has to go off, then you're also putting everyone else at risk because he has to leave that flock. I mean, even in the flock, there's some, uh, you know, wolves in sheep's clothing. So, you know, you can't always trust who appears to be in the flock either. The only one that you can really trust is the good shepherd, which is Jesus. So Jesus' words, like, don't take my words for it. Study Jesus as much as you can, you know, because he knows what he's talking about. I wouldn't know anything if it weren't for Jesus, so, and for God, his Father. So, uh, yeah, that's what I recommend is, you know, armor up, be ready, get ready, and don't be afraid, you know. Uh, the worldly things are passing away. This is perishing stuff this is all perishing whether we like it or not we're all gonna die physically in the physical and it's you know where are you gonna spend eternity like what's gonna happen to you after people are like oh after doesn't exist now is the only time that exists uh that's not what we're told like jesus says otherwise like there is an afterlife you know there's like there's definitely something beyond what we know as human beings uh, some of us, a lot of us get glimpses of that. God has graced us with visions, with dreams, with tons of things, and tons of evidence to show that there's more than just our physical vessels. There's a spiritual realm, and we're told that, and should really obey Jesus, because you don't want to be leaving yourself vulnerable, and you don't want, trust me, like, I don't want no one to go to that place, that evil place, like, called hell, you know? Even, uh, I mean, I I have love even for, you know, it sucks that there's even angels that, well, demons now, they used to be angels, you know, all the Los Angeles, lost angels, you know, like, it's unfortunate that, you know, any of these beings, but, I mean, they can repent too, you still have time to repent, you know, God's given you, giving us all time to repent and redeem yourselves he's very patient he doesn't want anyone to be lost but i mean that's on that's going to be on you because i mean it don't it's all just consciousness you're lacking the consciousness that others are you we're all technically a part of god we're not god 
we're not as a collective we all are like the body of god in christ but we're not actually god the god like the ultimate almighty there is an almighty god and he does have a son named jesus who is our king and our lord and it's up to us to follow him and his direction and teachings that we don't destroy ourselves basically and and in doing so destroying others because you're hurting god you're hurting everyone else you know i don't want no one to go to go to hell so anyway but it's on you it's going to be your choice so you know either way you can't you're not going to be able to say that you weren't told jesus told you i've told you tons of people across the world like god uses tons of you people tons of us to try to speak the truth to people so you know yeah like when it comes down to it we're not going to have an excuse for you know all our evils i'm i'm not any uh you know i do my best to be righteous and to be as righteous as i can but like i'm an evil person too like i have evil in me too not evil like as far as malicious like i don't have an evil intent to harm anyone but I mean, I don't know the full results of what I do and what I say and things like that. Like, God will still be my the judge of me. I mean, I've accepted Christ, so like I, it says those who accept Christ, they won't, they, uh, they, they won't be judged, basically, because we have a relationship with Christ and he understands the intent of our heart and that we love the same way that he loves and views others. So, but I mean, it's still going to be up to him, <laughs> like... I'm, I'm fully aware that it's like I have evils in me that the temptations to do evil things, to be selfish, to be pleasure-seeking as opposed to being God-seeking, things like that. So I do my best to, uh, to prove myself through my choices in the same way that, you know, my deeds will testify for me, the same way that Jesus' deeds and your deeds testify. It's, that's what it comes down to is we choose who we are and who we want to be with and for me i want to be with god you know and i know i am with god i know god is with me and i do my best to try to not be separate and to continue on that path so either way keep keep seeking if you're struggling keep hanging in there you know do your best know that god loves you know that i love you there are lots of beings out there rooting for you that love you and but i mean there's there's only so much that we can do for for others to to the point where they have to do it themselves you have to make good choices for yourselves there's nothing or there's nothing that like, people can do we can't make choices for you you know like i can't stop you from uh smoking your brains out from drinking your brains out from you know from sinning all day from hurting each other from lacking conscience i can't teach you anything you have to t only we can only teach ourselves you know like even it says all people will be taught by god but god knows like it's still up to us to accept that teaching and teach it to ourselves and accept it as truth so really we are the teachers that need to teach ourselves and a lot of times we're trying to teach other people like it may seem like i'm trying to teach you right now i'm just speaking it's up to you to accept whatever you know you hear as truth you should be able to recognize the truth you're for yourself and to decide for yourself what you feel is true and what you feel guides you down the path of of goodness and positivity for your life and love for your life and you get to choose that's the beautiful thing about life i get to choose so either way much love um I do my best to keep speaking to you guys. I mean, this video has been 30 minutes. I gotta try to keep my videos like 10 minutes. So I may break this video. Probably did break this video up into three different parts. But uh, anyway, live to love, love to live. Uh, I know I do. I love y'all. You know, I'm sorry if I've indirectly hurt any of you. I didn't. I don't mean to. You know, I know I'm not trying to anger you. I'm not trying to feel better than you i'm not trying to i feel i'm trying to be one with you i'm trying to you know i view you as me you know i view you as me the same spirit of god in another human vessel and uh, you know i wish only good things and love for you people for everyone because it's, it's basically why would i not that's like 
to wish any harm on you would be wish harm on myself and on God and Jesus, and I don't do that. So, anyway, much love.